Introducing the Field Server Modbus to BACnet Easy Gateway by Sierra Monitor, the first of our new Easy Gateway line that sets a new standard for ease of use. With the Modbus to BACnet Easy Gateway, integrators can easily configure Modbus RTU or Modbus TCP IP to BACnet MSTP or BACnet IP devices. With the richest and most tested Modbus features such as bit extraction, 32-bit float or integer support, and scaling, the Easy Gateway can work with virtually any Modbus device out of the box. Device Proxy, our unique device management feature, is an ability to represent each Modbus device as a corresponding virtual BACnet device, thereby providing granular visibility and control over each Modbus device within a BACnet management framework. Two RS-485 ports allow up to 64 Modbus RTU devices to the Easy Gateway without the need of adding a repeater to the RS-485 network. Our dual-port Easy Gateway can reduce the cost of device connectivity or double the speed of connected devices. The Easy Gateway can also connect to over 100 Modbus TCP devices via Ethernet, and support for Modbus TCP concurrent polling enables faster response time in more devices per segment. We will now go over the quick and easy configuration of the Modbus to BACnet Easy Gateway. The default IP address of the field server Easy Gateway is 192.168.2.101. There are three pages on the Easy Gateway graphical user interface, also known as the GUI. Settings, Diagnostics, and About. The Diagnostics button will take you to the GUI normally seen in field servers. On this page, you can view connection statistics, node statistics, and raw data. The settings page has an interface to create a Modbus to BACnet configuration file. There are four sections on the settings page, gateway, connections, device proxy, and device profiles. The gateway section allows you to change the name of the easy gateway and network settings. The connection section allows you to enable protocols, specify the connection parameters, and the port that is used. The Device Profiles section allows you to create Modbus to BACnet profiles. For each profile, there are three buttons, Edit Profile, Remove Profile, and Export Profile. When choosing the Edit Profile button, a new window pops up with the following four tabs, Device Settings, Data Map, State Tables, and Notification Classes. On the Device Settings tab, you can choose the type of addressing, Modbus Write Options, and Enable or Disable BACnet COV. On the Data Map tab, you can map Modbus registers to BACnet objects. On the Modbus side, you can specify the Modbus address, data type, function, length, and scan interval. After specifying these parameters, clicking the plus button will expand the page to show the BACnet parameters. You can specify the object type, object instance, and object name. If the Modbus length is more than one, the address offset is used to specify which Modbus address is mapping to the BACnet object. You also have the ability of extracting a bit from a 16-bit register and mapping it to a binary input. There are also some advanced options which lets you specify intrinsic reporting settings, adding a description to the object, specifying units, and implement scaling. Any completed profiles can be exported to be used on another easy gateway by clicking on the Export Profile button. Once you create your profile, you need to use Device Proxy to enable it on your Easy Gateway. To load your profile, choose the Device Proxy section. When you load the profile, you need to specify the type of Modbus connection, whether it is a Modbus RTU or Modbus TCP IP along with a Modbus node ID. You also need to specify the BACnet device name and device instance. If there are two Modbus devices on the network, you can add a second instance of the same profile. Each will show up as a separate device on the BACnet network. Backed by Sierra Monitor's many years of industry experience, the Field Server Easy Gateway line sets a new standard for ease of use. All the power and flexibility a typical Field Server Gateway has is now available to the more casual system integrator.